exactly welcome back to yet another video and yes um i'm back by a popular demand and thank you so much to all the people who have subscribed to the channel we are growing road to 1k very much exciting uh so in today's video i'm basically talking about um the final year uh software engineering project which is building a system you know for your final year project so i i guess it differs from for different universities but i know that um uj up and all the others do have a final year projects because i remember there was like a microsoft imagine cup that was happening and we had even some of our second year projects okay well you do your projects in second year but i don't think they're much of a big deal as the final as your informatics final year project okay so uj where i studied um so third year informatics was all about software engineering you know building a system right so yeah so we'll start with the I don't want to be like a textbook formal whatever 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 okay so basically that is where where you have your software process process models which also fall under software process your modeling which is your requirements your architecture and component designs which are your diagrams then you have your quality management which is your testing and then you would have your software project management which is the project matrix which involves your estimations and all of that okay anyway so shoot so my third product project was basically um called you study so it was basically like an uber for studying you know it was like around that idea so you will just put two and two together because i'm not just gonna i'm not gonna go into the details besides i'm not trying to give away our idea okay so basically initially we had to um Go approach a company or a sponsor or whomever and then solve uh, their problem you know whatever problem that they might have in within the company in terms of processes that you know they run and then maybe translate that into a, a system but because we didn't know anyone and to be quite honest like you know we were just like you know what a friend um, I mean one of our group members came with the idea and we ran with it so as you know that um okay if you went to uj i'm not sure how the other you know universities do it but in the first semester what then happens is that you get to do four deliverables which um incorporate um your 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 planning i think the first the first deliverable is all about the research like existing um systems in the market that are similar to to what you're trying to build and do comparisons you know the market it's all about you know studying the market and also um it's all about research and you know digging in and telling us more about the system that you're going to build in terms of what problem you're solving and all of that and then going forward you get to do your use cases your uml diagrams your air um all those interaction diagrams your different diagrams you know what the drill you know and then towards the end and then you get to do a prototype of what your system is going to look like so the development literally starts in the second half of the year but um you can literally you know start during your june recess because that's the longest so that's when you can actually get to do the actual you know coding but you can still do the design the front end and show how the different parts of the system are going to be interacting you know to, with one another so and yeah and all of that so during the first semester i guess one of the lessons that i had learned was that you know the little things matter you know the things where you feel like oh it's just to get the diagram out there as long as it resembles you know uh what we're trying to do but like even the little things the alignments of your diagrams the spacing of your diagrams you know it needs to be really neat and representable and you know readable because i think readability was one of our biggest challenge with one of our last deliverables where we had to do um a, is it a breakdown a resource breakdown where you also indicate the amount of hours and which resource is going to be doing that and how many hours and all of that it was really really i forgot the actual name of that diagram but it was really small so yeah readability you know the little things that you might think ah as long as it's there they'll make a plan you know there needs to be consistency in your document there needs to be consistency in your document 
um yeah and all of that and also um pay very much attention to what you do don't do it for the sake of um what do you call of submitting don't do it for the sake of it you know be very like deliberate you know in what you're doing do it with purpose and you know and do it you know be proud of of, of what you're producing like look at it as like this is a this is a life um changing document you know my life dependent depends on it so with us uh the third year final year project was basically 60 percent towards our semester mark so you had to do it really really well and another thing when choosing your team members do not choose your hard worker your smart worker choose someone who's gonna write code that's gonna work because at the end of the day the fact that you're a hard worker means nothing if your code does not work you get what i'm saying like you can be the most you can always be present in meetings you can always contribute in terms of ideas but the code needs to work literally no jokes no jokes okay so basically um also what i also you know felt uh, or feel like it's important you know setting up meetings time management is basically one of the most important skills that you will ever need you know throughout the year because you also have other modules that you need to focus on always set time aside for you know your meet your team meetings whether you have your meetings um twice a week once a week three times a week whatever uh, works for your team and actually get the work done bring a procrastinator i know you're like i like procrastinating i will do it day you know i, I always get my stuff done day before that this is group work remember and you like code is unpredictable you know you know things might work out in your head but not really work out when you actually writing the actual code when it comes to the actual development of the system we had to make both mobile app and a web application okay so the one important thing that we missed is the use of the concepts that we had learned in the course you know things like scrum things like um having a backlog you know we were sort of like touch and go and you know even though we did um develop our system in a in such a way that was sort of like simpler so we used our use cases and our interaction diagrams to decide but it was not really like super planned out it was more or less um okay this is done but like we also never had a time frame you know attached to 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 that to that backlog so we probably did have a backlog but we sort of didn't um and also there was like a lack of accountability here and there because the whole point you know is to basically have a set of things that you need to do so you have your use cases you have your subsystems okay if you're going to build the login registration subsystem you write what needs to be done and whatnot and how long it will take you guys so if you're saying it's going to take you two days it needs to literally take you two days regardless of what problems you've had okay if you're not going to complete it you need to be held accountable or you need a reason you need to explain yourself you know the worst part about it is literally us not making it to the open day it was an open day project day so they choose top 20 teams we're not even in the top 20 because it was such a not a it was a mess up oh and another thing um that i felt we would have done better is having indexes in our tables because our system was super slow because it has so much data like logging in would take a minute you know so it was the worst i mean we could have done better in that sense um so we also had connected to the azure database so we had like free subscription for that year so yeah it was like extra points if you're hosting your 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 database um in cloud so that was like extra much so we had to like change our connection string to our local database which was much better um yeah i think i think we did okay the problem was the fact that our our system was super slow um, yeah so also having indexes in your tables help your system run faster 
um and also we had a dashboard with an admin dashboard i mean we had pretty much like cool things and with the mobile app we only had the login page working um because i think one of the other things is getting a faster computer Getting a faster computer in that sense is a luxury. When you're a developer, you can't just get any computer. I mean, really now, you know, you really, if you can get a, go try and learn an SSD, yes, but it's expensive, you know, as a student who literally, you know, was poor, as a poor student that I was, I wouldn't have afforded an SSD to, you know, um, speed up my computer i had an i3 i think it had a process of 1.9 gigahertz uh which was not so bad but it was really really slow if i had to open visual studio and also we've got other files in your computer remember you also have to watch movies so i mean you know yo man um we, we we made it we made it but like one of the top tips that i would like to give to you is really find people who are going to give as much effort and people who are going to deliver people who will people who are reliable you know um people who value team the the team effort um people who are going to value time people that will always be available when they need to be available because we don't want people that at 2 a.m when the system breaks you can't even get hold of because they decided whether that they want to sleep like you cannot team up with such people and another thing make use of the concept that you you that you learn in the course things like your scrum your storyboard your sizing of your of your of your stories um using of process models you know and the importance of testing you know the lie that you tell that it worked yesterday it's because you didn't test properly it probably worked for one scenario and you did not test it properly for it to run for every other scenario you know i, I can't remember what it's called stress testing but you learn all the types of stress of, of testings so you need to test your system from end to end do functional do whatever testing that you need to do very very much important the use of indexes in your database very very important more than anything else even if, if even if you have like shitty um team members but indexes in your database it's a must have best to believe and one other last thing time management you need to manage your time properly and if you use the concepts that you learn then i mean everything else will just fall into place i think one other thing we worked in isolation of what we were learning at the time you know it you know it it didn't i don't think it registered to us that oh which means that if you have a backlog you can assign time frame to a specific subsystem and actually complete it by then and then everything of yours will be done in time so it's basically one of those things and yes i hope you did enjoy the video please do not forget to like and subscribe or if you have any stories that you would like to 